Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to make initial register user avatar image from username in PHP dynamically. Initial avatar image means if we have used Google, then in that Google if we have set our profile image, then at that time Google has display initial profile image which has been made from our name first character. So this type of feature we have made in this tutorial. In previous tutorial, we have made PHP registration and login system using OTP authentication. Now in that tutorial, we have add one more feature like how can we make Initial avatar image of registered user by using PHP script. Now let's start discussing this topic. So this is our testing database. And here we have register user table. In this table, we have add one user avatar table column for store user avatar image name. After this, we have go to our working folder. In this folder, we have make two folder with name like avatar and font. In avatar folder, we will store user initial avatar image and in font folder we have store font file. In this working folder, we have make one function dot php new file and in this file, we have create one function with name make avatar with parameter like dollar character variable. This function will make dynamic user avatar image. From this dynamic dollar character variable, this variable value will be any alphabet. Under this function, we have write dollar path variable is equal to folder name of the slash php time function with dot png image extension so here we have defined base image with dynamic name below this we have write dollar image variable is equal to image create function with two parameter in first parameter width we have write 200 and in second parameter height, we have write 200. Next, we have write dollar red variable is equal to PHP random function, two parameter like 0 and 250 number. So this code will generate random number between this two range. Same way. We have write dollar green variable is equal to PHP random function with range like 0 and 255. After this, we have write dollar blue variable is equal to PHP random function with range like 0 and 255. So, this three line of code will generate random RGB number for image background. Now, we have want to define background color by using this image color allocate function with four parameter. In first parameter, we have write dollar image variable, which is image source, and other three parameter, is the value of RGB color, which has been get from dollar red, green and blue variable value after this we have write dollar text color variable is equal to image color allocate function with four parameter in first parameter we have write dollar image variable which is source of image and other four parameter is the value of rgb color and here we have used white color. This function will display text on string. Now we want to print text on image. 
So here we have write image TTF text function with eight parameter. In first parameter image source, we have write dollar image variable. In second font size parameter, we have write hundred. In third angle parameter, we have write zero. In fourth x axis parameter, we have write fifty five. In fifth y axis parameter, we have write hundred fifty. In sixth text color parameter, we have write dollar text color variable. In seventh font path parameter, we have write font variable slash Arial dot TTF and in last string parameter we have write dollar character variable so this code will display text on image next we want to define header content type for this here we have write header function with content type set to image png after this we want to define image type for this here we have write image png function with parameter in first parameter we have write dollar image and in second parameter we have write dollar path variable this code will make png image at define path lastly we want to destroy image from cache for this here we have write image destroy a function with dollar image variable this function will remove source image from cache next we have write return statement with dollar path variable it will return the dynamic avatar image path, which is output of this function. So, here our function is ready for make dynamic user avatar image. Now we have go to user registration code, which is right in index.php file. So we have go to index.php file. First we have write include function with function.php file. By using this statement, we can call the method of this function.php. After this, we have go to this block of code, and this block of code will execute only after user successfully register in our system. And here we have write dollar user altar variable is equal to make altar function and under this function we have write string to upper function. This function will convert text to upper case and under this function we have write dollar user name variable with zero index it will return first character from user name and this whole code will make register user initial altar image and path of image store under this dollar user altar variable now we want to update this user altar image path in register user table for this here we have write dollar query variable is equal to update register user table set user avatar table column is equal to dollar user avatar variable where register user id is equal to dollar connect with last insert id function this function will return last register user id and this query will update last inserted user data with altar image path. Now, we have go to dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare method. And under this, we have write dollar query variable 
it will prepare query for execution process. And for above query execution, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. This method will execute above update query and it will update register user data with initial user of the image. Now, we want to display initial avatar image after user has login into system. For this we have go to home.php file. And here, we have write include statement with function.php file. By using this statement, we can use the method of this function.php file. This is home.php page, and content of this page, user cannot see without login into system, so after login into system, user will redirect to this page, and here we want to display user initial altar image. For this here, we have write, get user altar function, with two parameter like, dollar session user id variable and dollar connect variable this function with display user of the image first we have go to function.php file and here we have make get user of the function with two parameter like dollar user id variable and dollar connect variable Under this function, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select user avatar from register user table, where register user id is equal to dollar user id variable. This query will return particular user avatar image path from register user table. Below this, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare method with parameter like dollar query variable after this we have write dollar statement variable with execute method this method will execute above query next we want to get query execution result so here we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. For fetch data from dollar result variable, here we have write for each loop and under condition, we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write echo statement with image tag with source attribute is equal to dollar row user of the variable it will display login user of the image now we have go to home.php file and below this user profile image we want to display login user name for this here we have write echo statement with dollar session user name variable and below this user name we want to display logout link so here we have write anchor tag with ref is equal to logout.php with anchor text logout so when user has click on this link then user will redirect to login page. So here our code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we can see that when page has been load in browser, then on web page, we can see register form on web page. So, First we have filled this register form details, one by one with user name John Smith, and fill other details.
Once register form details has been filled, now we have click on register button. After click on register button, then it has asked for enter OTP number. So, we have go to email inbox, and here, we can see that OTP number has been received, so we have copy this number. After this, here we have paste that OTP number, and click on button, after click on button, then here on web page, we can see success message. And it has display login page. So here we have enter email address and click on next button. After this, it has asked for enter password details and click on next button. After this, it has asked for enter OTP number. So for this, we have go to email inbox and here we can see OTP number has been received. So, we have copy this number. And go to login page. And here we have paste OTP number. And click on next button. So here we have login into system. Here on web page sidebar. We can see user initial altar image with alphabet J. This is because J alphabet is the first character of user name. So, this way we can make user initial altar image after register into system. So, friends, in this video tutorial, we have learned how to make initial altar image after user has register into system by using PHP script. Next we will learn how user can change password details by using OTP number verification. If you have any query or input regarding this part, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends. Or even you can also share on social media also.